<coughs> now wow. Fish <laughs> Now wow. Some people then to do. Well. <coughs> A banger. Guys, why did Big Brother Ninja the Buzz, a show hosted by Toke Makiwa, choose to do Zinwe Pair Dead Sea? <laughs> why did they have to show that? The, why did the Buzz have to add that part of Shinwe and Zion's video to their show? For what reason? For clicks, for view, or what? For what? Because we don't know when that particular seen up on here um to be forged obviously ran downstairs to call some of the ass mates that we are valuable that he was hearing um sounds coming out from the bathroom so they all rushed to the bathroom area and they were peeping they were listening they were eavesdropping on what's going on and all then after that um the camera didn't show us what was going on there it didn't even show us the bathroom it was just focused on the housemates it, it was just focused on the housemates spying on what is going on here but from their conversation we all knew what was happening because they talked about shinwe and zaya in the bathroom this that from their conversation we understand we knew what went on we knew all what happened so the next thing the, car the cameraman show was um, Shinwe and Zion coming out from the bat from the bathroom. I think uh, uh, Zion came out first and he entered another one, obviously to clean himself up. Then Shinwe like came out and stood there. That was all we saw. That was it. Not until now. Um, Big Brother Ninja the Buzz, hosted by Toke Makiwa, decided to like air her own episode and she included that video that nobody saw. Like on 4K camera, they were in the act. Why did they have to do that? Why? No, why? Shinwe is already feeling like um, what Ebuka did to her is unfair. Ebuka tried to um, scatter her relationship with Zion. Like when Ebuka exposed her about, uh, when, like when Ebuka exposed her on Sunday about what she said about Zion, she's already feeling that um, what Biggie or what the host Ebuka did was unfair. Like she cried her. Uh, eyes at that particular day in the diary room and everything and now this video there was one particular scene she even hung her leg on the door they showed that one too for what for what reason big brother ninja did not air that um show max on its own they did not air that then why did big brother ninja the boys have to do that it's not even funny now the video is trending that particular scene is trending i believe that uh, this episode of the boss is going to be the one with the highest view because ha ah, the video is everywhere i even went there to share to see it clear it is everywhere that video is trending online ah only shin way how many only shin way it is too much on her. Let us not forget how her boyfriend Zion decided to do kiss and tell with Femi David. Where he narrated how they've been knocking in the house everything since day one, since week one that they got in the house, where they did it, how they did it, the week two, that is this one that uh, the boss just showed, how they did it, everything, what transpired between him and his girlfriend Shinwe, he narrated everything in details everything is spilled all the tea to Femi like this guy Zion did not leave anything out he spilled every single detail to Femi and it got me confused I was like ah why is this guy doing this why now is he trying to like um, pay back Shinwe for what Shinwe did when Ebuka said Shinwe talked about her he sponsored Zion she counted her losses, yada, 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 and everything, yeah. 
is he not trying to like um pay back Shinwe by saying that because we know when incidents like this happen when things like this happen the blame is always on the girl people hardly talk about the boy they'll be like mm, the boy the blame is always on the girl the mockery everything is always on the girl yes we all know that so him doing that kiss and tell we all know the blame is going to be on Shiwe, which is already going on people are already calling Shiwe names like forgetting that i don't know these people literally came into the house as boyfriend and girlfriend they did not meet in the house so i don't just know why they are the one having the most saga in the as most relationship drama in the house this drama is supposed to come from um people that met in the house like normal big brother ninja shona but these people their relationship i don't know obviously they said they dated for just five months but the rate at which this relationship is shaking is a lot guys it's, ah it is too much and now big brother ninja the boss decided to scatter everything they literally just scattered everything for her how is she going to feel because i have said that once they leave the house he's going to break up with her so he won't be there to comfort her console her motivate her encourage her or anything it's going to be double pain for her it's going to be double pain for chiwe don't know i just pity her head because she's going to come out of the ass zion is going to break up with her like dump her then these videos they are going to be all over her face except zion decided to change his mind but with the way things are going i doubt to with the way things are going i doubt zion would change his mind because he, already, he has already told dj flo that anything is once he says something like this he doesn't go back on his words so i don't know i just pity she will imagine this kind of video trending online your friends will see it your family your families they would see it like everybody your church members the people at your working place everybody they are going to see this video of you see seriously eh the boss they really did a dirty whosoever edited that video did a dirty 100 percent because people are already laughing at and it is so bad trust me it is bad so that is it for them that their relationship that they carry to big brother god damn them so i'm going to talk about um now i'm going to talk about the new cute ship in the ass which are um tofa and anita we all know the first time they kissed was during a treat or their game after their party anita was dead to kiss tofa which she refused and the housemate talked her into doing it she later did but for a very short time yeah and the next was still was it not yesterday yes i think um, the, it, she was in the kitchen with Tofa and she gave Tofa like a quick kiss and that was it, yeah. But after the Thursday pool party last night, after the Thursday pool party last night, they did like a treat all day game again. And this time Anita was dead to kiss. Is it Anita or Tofa? But yeah, they were dead to kiss each other and they were giving 10 seconds this time anita did it willingly without anybody begging and nobody begged her like nobody pleaded with her nobody talked her into doing it she did it willingly and the aspect started counting they counted from one to ten but she did not stop she still continued they even counted to 15 like she was all she was 100 percent ready for it the reactions on the housemate faces were so funny i think andre was there doing oh she could not close her mouth even um zion sorry even a uh, suge and nelly yeah we all know nelly is anita's pair and suge is tofa's pair they were just there uh, blushing on their behalf nelly was blushing seriously we'll see the housemates they were somewhere surprised some were happy for them it was all different <laughs> different reactions and it was kind of cute yeah 
but I noticed they were kind of shy. Nelly and Tofa, they, Anita and Tofa, they were shy. They are the shy type. They are the shy type, um, obviously. So I think this ship is stable for now. So that is it. Please do not forget to subscribe. Also, please like this video, share, and comment.